In this video, we'll start exploring ways to describe distributions of quantitative data. Let's start by thinking about two related research questions. First, at what age do mothers have their first child? And second, has this age changed over the years? Now, the Centers for Disease Control keeps records of every birth that occurs in the United States. And here are some data about the mother's ages when they had their first child from 1980, and also from 2018. So, knowing that you have access to these data, pause the video and think about how you would answer these two questions. For many of us, our first idea is to just compute the average of these ages for each year, which seems like it would answer both of these research questions. But let's take a closer look at the data. Here are the data for 1980, and let's represent these data with a histogram. In this graph, each bar shows the percent of the population that had their first child at each age. For example, this bar is over the value 19, and its height is just over 9%. So it tells us that just over 9% of mothers in 1980 had their first child when they were 19 years old. And since this is the tallest bar, would be inclined to think that this would be the age at which mothers typically had their first child. However, the average we computed was 22.6 years. So these two ways of looking at the data are telling us different things. It turns out that summarizing distributions is a relatively complicated process. A distribution is a list of all the values of a variable and the frequency with which each value occurs. This is what the graph was showing us. We'll break the process of summarizing data into three parts. In this video, we'll talk about descriptions of shape, and in the next videos, we'll talk about measures of center and spread. So let's take a look at the distribution of mother's ages again. The first thing we can describe is the overall shape. We can think about splitting this shape into three sections. The purple section is called the right tail, and we can see that the right tail is much larger than the left tail. This shape is called skewed right because the right tail is larger. Similarly, a distribution where the left tail is larger is called skewed left. And a distribution where the right and left tails look similar is called symmetric because it looks the same if you were to spin it around its center. Now, there is another aspect of the shape of a distribution that you might not have noticed. Here is the distribution of mother's ages from 2018. In addition to being slightly skewed to the right, if you look at its overall shape, you'll probably notice that it appears to have two distinct peaks. Each of these peaks is called a mode, and these modes tell us something. There are probably two distinct groups of mothers. The first group tends to have their first child when they are younger, and the second group tends to have their first child when they are a little older. Since this distribution has two modes, it is called bimodal. The distribution for mother's ages in 1980 had one mode, so it is described as unimodal. And a distribution with more than two modes is usually just called multimodal. Now, let's look at one more aspect of the shape of a distribution. Here again is the distribution for the mother's age at first birth in 1980, but I made a little modification. It looks like in this altered data, there is a significant number of women who had their first child at age 50. When there are data points that are significantly larger or smaller than the rest of the data, and there is a significant gap, then we call these data points outliers. There are technical definitions for outliers, but they rely on other summary statistics that we'll look at in later videos. In this video, we've looked at describing the shape of a distribution. In particular, we saw examples of distributions that were symmetric or skewed, unimodal, bimodal, and multimodal, and noticed outliers. Each of these terms tells us something about the population, and we'll build on all of these ideas in subsequent videos.